All right, welcome back. Last time I was with Marco. This time I'm with Marvin. Marvin, you wanna say hi? Oh, you're such a good boy. And I want to talk now about accidents and how accidents are part of the hypothesis and how they subsist in the nature. Many will say or think that the differentiation between two beings and what the hypothesis is, is dependent on the accidents. And while this is nonetheless superficially true, it's important to articulate that the accidents are dependent and based and rooted in nature. What do I mean by that? Well, as already stated, I'm sitting with Marvin. Marvin is a dog. Last episode, we were with Marco, who is also a Chihuahua, but they're different colors. Marvin is Brindle, okay? Brindle is quite rare for a dog. Rather, quite rare, quite rare for a Chihuahua, but it's not rare for a dog. Brindle is a natural hair color in many species of dog. You can hear Mondays outside. They all want to, they're all gonna get an episode. However, while brindle is common in canines, brindle is not common, almost non-existent naturally in humans. And it's also non-existent, almost non-existent naturally in almost, in many, many other animals, apes, etc. So even though the color is an accident, this color, this brindle pattern, is dependent on the nature. It is essential. Not how we would colloquially use that word essential, but in terms of the essence, right? It is based in the essence. It's dependent on the essence. It's dependent on the fact that Marvin is a dog. And so he can naturally exist as a brindle. So just how I'm a human, and I naturally exist with the strawberry reddish hair, strawberry reddish facial hair. And again, even hair as an accident is dependent on me being a human. Marvin has fur, which is an accident, dependent on him being a dog. So this is another way in which hypotheses and nature is different, right? And then another way, in which hypothesis and nature is different, is that hypothesis is the concretization, okay? Marvin is concrete. I can hold Marvin. I can touch Marvin. I can look at Marvin. I can smell Marvin. And I can hear him. So he's sensible, that is, to the senses. He is perceivable to the senses. And he's also intelligible, okay? He's, he's perceivable to the mind. Dog, nature is abstract, it's not concrete, okay? Marvin is a particular concretization of dog nature, which is himself, he's his own concretization. But canine nature is abstract, okay? So it's not concrete. Just as human nature is abstract, and I am the particular concretization, which is myself, Jonathan. Okay, so this is another way in which hypothesis and nature are different. So, Marvin, are you ready to go? You've been a little antsy all episode. A little antsy. Yeah, I think he wants to get going. But he's puppy number two, episode number two. Maybe I'll call this theology with puppies. You ready to go? You ready to go? You want to say goodbye? Okay. You're cute. Take care.